Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, thanks for joining. And uh, I was I was told that you're, you're supposed to put a lot of energy into your videos, and this doesn't feel right. I'm gonna stop doing that. Anyway, uh, how you guys doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about Monday's video. What happened in Monday's video <laughs> that has uh, uh, become a bit of a controversy, as I suppose the Brits would say. And um, I wanted to uh, just kind of talk about a few other things. This might run a little bit long, but this is just me having a little chat. And I, I hope you guys uh, uh, are, uh, have some questions and stuff like that. I'll, I'll probably answer a little bit at the end, although there is uh, just a lot I want to I want to get through. So I'm gonna jump right into it. So the video from Monday on supercapacitors. Holy crap! This thing took off in ways I was not expecting. I'm usually pretty thrilled if a video gets about 10,000 views. Like that's kind of the cutoff. If it goes under that, I'm a little disappointed. If it gets over that, all right, cool. Well, this one in 24 hours has gotten 50,000 views and I'm just blown away. For some reason, Google loves the hell out of this video. It's doing well. It's, uh, it's, it's gotten me a, a nice little spike in subscribers. All that is great. Thrilled about that. But <laughs> of course, I have had a glaring error in this video that has uh, rained fire down upon me and uh, I wanted to just take a minute to kind of follow up, correct that error, explain what happened, and uh, and talk about a few other things that I actually learned in the comments from people who are, who are leaving uh, really thoughtful stuff, people who are experts on this kind of thing. See, here's what happens. I'm going a little bit loop-de-loop -loop here, but I'm just kind of giving you a little background, a little YouTube background here. So. When a video does really well like that, basically what that's doing is Google has picked it up and is recommending it to people in the suggested videos uh, column on the side of the screen. And that is a personalized feature. So that's based on videos that you've watched in the past. So basically, if a whole bunch of people are seeing my supercapacitors video showing up in their suggested videos, it's because they've probably watched a lot of videos on supercapacitors or battery storage, you know, battery technology, stuff like that. Point being, these are people who probably know more about this than I do. I, I am not an expert. My subscribers, I think, who have been around a while, they know that I I never claim to be an expert in these things. I'm just a guy and people ask me questions and I research them, I do the best I can to make it informative and entertaining. I don't wanna get anything wrong, but I do because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy. But the point is, a lot of people who are getting this video are probably a lot smarter and more educated on this topic than I am. So when I have a mistake in there, and again, a glaring one, they really let me have it. And uh, the the comment section has become a bit of a Mad Max hellscape. So um, <laughs> anyway, the big discrepancy that I made, and again, it's glaring, is that I claimed that nickel cadmium batteries are not rechargeable, and they actually are rechargeable. They were actually some of the first rechargeable batteries that popularized or made uh, recharging possible. Uh, people pointed out that I really should have said something like alkaline batteries, and you're right, totally should have. Um, but it's it's a dumb mistake, and it's a dumb mistake on every front, mostly because it's just completely inaccurate. A lot of times when I get things wrong, it's some little detail. It's some little thing that most lay people wouldn't know. And so it's kind of like when I get corrected on it, I go, oh, okay, cool. I just learned something. And it's not that big a deal. Um, but when it's something like this that's just very glaringly obvious, it's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed right now is what I'm saying. And that's why uh, I wanted to do this video to follow up. Another thing that's frustrating for me, and I'm just kind of giving you my perspective as, you know, a YouTuber doing what I do here is that YouTube just got rid of annotations and annotations were kind of my um, saving grace I guess because if I got something wrong I could always just go back and add an annotation that, that corrects it and then it's right there in the video people are watching it they see that oh, okay he corrected it and they kind of move on but now they took away annotations back in May so all I can do now is create another video and link it back through cards hardly anybody looks at cards <laughs> so um I, so i mean for example this this video right now is getting about a thousand views an hour and the video that i created and put up to kind of correct the record has only gotten like 22 views so nobody's seeing it uh and probably very few people will actually see this one too but that's all right i just uh, i wanted to do this to correct that record 
And another just a little background uh, piece of information here. The, the reason this mistake happened or the reason a lot of the mistakes uh, in my videos happen is when I'm writing it, it's a very circular, amorphous process. It's not, it's not a very stratified process that I use to write these videos. It's, it's a lot of just kind of looking up stuff and writing down my thoughts and then walking the dogs <laughs> and then coming back seeing what what gelled it's you know it's always about me trying to find connections between other things trying to make it interesting trying to add my own little perspective and in, in, in a way that I think you guys would like so what I usually do when I'm writing is I I kind of take this information and I just kind of I just kind of lay it out on on the page I use Evernote uh, any Evernote fans out there raise the fist and uh, what I do is sometimes I'll just kind of skip over details because I'm just kind of trying to get the point together and then I go back later and I look through and I make sure all the details are right and uh, and accurate and stuff like that well this was one of those times because I was I was just basically I was trying to do two things with uh, with this whole nickel cadmium thing I was trying to basically show one the progression of battery technology over time from you know the sort of uh, solid, un, not reusable primary batteries is what they call them, uh, to the rechargeables, to now this whole supercapacitor idea. And the other thing that I was trying to do was basically explain how a traditional battery worked so that I could explain how a supercapacitor worked, according to my research and everything. So I was trying to do those two things at once, and um, and I kind of <laughs> I kind of failed because I used the wrong type of battery. Anyway, for those of you out there who corrected me kindly, and there were many of you. I want to say I really do appreciate it. I actually learn a lot from my comments after the fact. I, I would I would say that maybe you know 50% of what I ultimately learn about a subject when I do a video on it actually takes place. Maybe not 50%. Let's say 30, 25 to 30%. But a, a good chunk happens afterwards when I get you guys. I ha your view. My viewers are smarter than I am. That's just something I'm I'm used to. But I get these, uh, these comments that inform me and add context and give me details that I didn't find before or I didn't know about. Because, I mean, I only have like a week or so to research this. A week while I'm working other jobs and doing other things. So I want to say a thank you for that. I really do appreciate that. And uh, I appreciate people keeping me honest. Because I want to be accurate. Uh, for those people out there who acted like I murdered a dog on live, uh, YouTube, I, uh, I hope you get some therapy because you need it. Anyway, um, so I'm, I'm going to kind of go through some of the comments that I had gotten, not to glorify them too much, but just kind of respond. And uh, one of them was that I left out uh, nickel hydride batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries. Uh, a couple of people were very angry that I left out nickel metal hydride and, and one of them even suggested that I was had some bias toward nickel cadmium or something like I had some agenda behind it because I'm in the pocket of big cadmium people they got me uh, but no I I didn't talk about nickel metal hydride I also did not talk about aluminum ion batteries lead acid batteries lithium uh, air batteries magnesium iron nickel iron I uh, polymer based silver zinc sodium ion I left out a lot of them because this wasn't a video about batteries it was about supercapacitors and I was just trying to give a little context so <laughs> to the people who had such a trouble with that I don't know what your deal is I don't know why agendas are always assumed just because something is misstated or whatever but anyway Something else I learned from the comments was that um, I talked in the video about the cathode and anode being positive and negative terminals of the battery. And the way I described it was that the anode was negative and the cathode was positive. Now that was based off of galvanic batteries. And that's what I had found when I did my research. And I had some people get on there and they were correcting me and they were saying, no, no, you got those reversed, you're a moron and all that kind of stuff. Not everybody called me a moron. And by the way, I am a moron about many things, just not because of that. But I, as I looked into it afterwards, I realized that there are different types of batteries, actually a whole bunch of different types of batteries. And some of them, like the galvanic ones that I was talking about, um, I got, I, that was correct. I was correct for that. But there are also electrolytic cells, which are reversed. So with those, the anodes are positive and the cathodes are negative. So I didn't know that when I jumped into it. Um, if I had known it, would I have talked about it? I don't know. Because again, that wasn't the point of the video. But 
Uh, I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> so, uh, so that was interesting. I didn't know that. Something that uh, one of the commenters po pointed out when I was talking about the whole supercapacitor is the way they use electrostatic. They release and absorb energy really quickly, and there's a big, uh, you know, uh, pro to that. He was pointing out that actually he had worked with supercapacitors. Um, I don't know on what scale, but he, he made it sound like a pretty big scale. And he was talking about how dangerous they can be because it is it is a giant shock. Like it's that whole shock on the doorknob thing I was talking about. You know, like imagine that with a thousand volts or something. Like it, it could really mess you up. So he was talking about how dangerous supercapacitors could be. And that was something I didn't really think about, something I didn't really talk about, but I found that interesting. And I wanted, I, I didn't catch his name and I apologize, but I wanted to thank him for sharing that because I thought that was, that was a good point. Um, I did share some articles in the uh, description that went into a lot more detail, not just on the pros, but also on the cons of the supercapacitors. Um, it's a big, huge subject, especially when you get into battery storage. Like I mentioned, there's a whole bunch of different uh, types of batteries. And I didn't, I just really kind of tip of the iceberg is what I was talking about. And I, I wanted to lead people to those other articles because there are definitely some cons to supercapacitors. Um, I didn't really get into it. I was just pointing people other where, uh, other where, to other places. And um, anyway, that's one of those cons that I was talking about. So um, I also did not really talk much about supercapacitor devices that already exist. And I got a lot of people talking about that in the comments, which is really exciting. Um, apparently there's uh, somebody had already created, well, somebody on, um, Oh shoot, what is it? Indiegogo. Somebody's on Indiegogo with a supercapacitor charging device for cell phones and stuff like that. Um, and the person who left the comment actually said that they had ordered one, but it took them too long to make it, so he withdrew his money. So it might be one of those startup things where, eh, I don't know. I don't know how sketchy. It might be a little sketchy. But point being, um, uh, there are devices out there already working on supercapacitors. I read something about, hello phone. I read something out there about uh, an actual car that's that's being developed with supercapacitor technology. I know Fisker was going to have a supercapacitor battery in their car, uh, but they changed that recently. I, I was reading an article about that. So interesting stuff, exciting stuff. Another thing that was pointed out, and I wish I knew about this before I made the video, but this is one of those things you learn things after the fact. Is there's a guy named Robert Murray Smith? He's got a YouTube channel, and he actually makes. Uh, graphene supercapacitors in his garage and he shows you how to do it. I've not had a chance to really check out this uh, this YouTube channel yet um, because I just found out about it in the comments in the last couple days but that's super cool and I want to go check this guy out so I'm telling you about it. Robert Murray Smith is his name. You can check him out on YouTube. I think you can just do a search for him but uh, let me take a sip of coffee real quick. How's everybody doing? Am I sounding good? Everybody having a good day? Joe, can you already say badonkadonk? I'm really desperate about it. Phony, badonkadonk. There you go. Made your day. All right. Um, so, another thing uh, that I got, this is just, I'm just going to kvetch for a second. Okay, this is just me. This is just me kvetching. Ranting, maybe. Let's, I'm going to rant. I'm going to rant a little bit. Okay, so I've had a few people, and this is obviously people who are new, who don't really know the channel, or not followers, not my loyal viewers, my lovely people like you. Am I squeeze? Am I squeeze your head? Okay, um, not you guys, but people who get on there and complain that I'm not getting to the point. Get to the point, man. Get to the point. Um, I had people who were literally counting down the minutes or seconds of how long it was taking me to get to the point. I had people who were really upset, hello phone, that uh, maybe I should turn my uh, ringer off. I'm a professional. So um, no, people who were really upset that at the beginning I was talking about, you know, how many, how many things around you have batteries. And in case you didn't know, that was just a blatant attempt to get you guys to comment on stuff. Because you gotta, you gotta engage people. And um, this guy was just livid that I wasted the seven seconds it took me to spin around in my chair and point out all the batteries in my direct vicinity. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's kind of one of these things I want to just get in the comments and be a little defensive, but I also don't want to be defensive. I don't want to be that guy. But 
at the same time, here's my take on it. Look, um, I do my videos the way I do my videos. And uh, <laughs> uh, Green Shorts just gave me $5 saying I'm in the pocket of Big Nickel. I'm in, I'm in the pocket of Big Cadmium, actually. Big Nickel, they wouldn't take me, but Cadmium. I'm Cadmium's bitch. So um, the point that I was getting at was, and thank you. Thank you, Tom, <laughs> for that. That was very nice. Um, there's a billion YouTube channels out there. And I do mine the way I do mine because it's kind of worked for me. And you guys seem to like it. I don't always jump right into the subject. I try to give a little bit of a sideways action. I try to kind of come in from, the, from a different angle. I try to kind of engage you with something that you might not be expecting right off the bat and then make some kind of interesting connection or parallel. Those are things I find interesting. And it's, it's worked so far. And, and I, I appreciate the, the feedback that you guys give and, and, and the fact that you, you seem to enjoy that. When I get enough people saying, oh my God, you gotta stop doing that, then I'll, I'll re-examine that. But you know, when I get people who are not even subscribers in the channel, who don't really know how I do things, and then they get in there and they, uh, and they throw a big fit because I'm not doing the exact type of video they wanna make, it's to me that's like going to Taco Bell and complaining because they don't have a, a, a Whopper there, you know. It's it's like you you got your Whopper and you got your your Taco Bell and and why would you go to a Taco Bell and demand that they give you a Whopper? Like go to a friggin' Burger King if that's what you want, you know. And it's the same thing here. Why would you go to somebody's channel and tell them to make their video the way you want them done? Go, go find somebody that does them the way you like them. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Just, you know, there's, there's plenty of them out there. Plenty of fish in the sea. Anyway, that's my rant. Ranting. Okay. Last thing I wanted to talk about, actually, there's, there's two more things I want to talk about. But uh, this one I got a lot. I got a lot of from, from, the, from the fans. Actually, there, were, there was more comment on this in the beginning than there was about the mistake that I made. Uh, mostly from the the fans, and that was the music. I don't I don't think you guys like the music so much. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I I wanted to talk about this for a second because it's come up. Actually, this is not the first video that that's been talked about. So why do I use music in my videos? And I'm gonna explain. Uh, for one thing, it's it's it is sort of just um, an aesthetic reason. Let's call it that. Um, I want to call it artistic reason because that makes it sound a little too hoity-toity. Point is, um, I feel like if you're going to stare at my face talking at you for 10 minutes, um, I need a little something to keep you going, a little something to add a little bounce, a little energy to it. And so, uh, so that's what I, that's, holy crap. Overdocs, I got to stop for a second, guys. Overdocs just donated a hundred of something. And okay, I don't know what dom denomination that is or a currency. I love your videos. Hope you're doing well. By the way, if you're going to do a video on the Venus Project, I urge you to look into the Zeitgeist Movement as well. I'm familiar with both of those. Um, I can tell you the Venus Project is on the list of... Uh, I, I've scheduled out videos all the way through November, guys. I actually got organized in the two weeks that I was not making, uh, putting stuff up here, and uh, the Venus Project is one of them. I don't know when. I don't know, I don't know when. I would tell you, but I don't know when. Uh, but it's on there, and thank you for that, and uh, and thank you for the donation. Holy crap! That I don't I don't know how much that that comes out to be in, in U.S. money, but I don't care. That's nice. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so thank you. Back to the music. So um, partly it is that I just want to add a little energy to it. I just want to add a little something um, to make the videos just kind of move a little bit more. Because again, ten minutes of a guy just sitting there talking to me that that seems kind of I don't know. It could be kind of boring. So there's that. The other reason is very situational. So this room that you're looking at right here, this is basically an extra bedroom of our house that we turned into an office that has kind of become a studio. Um, this, what I'm sitting at in front of right here, this is a desk, and I work at this desk, but it's on the second floor of our house. So second floor of our house, lots of bright lights. You can't see there's two lights right here, very bright ones. Maybe I can get a good reflection in my glasses maybe not so much anyway so bright lights with a lot of heat second floor texas in the summer gets hot in here it gets miserable in here if i don't have the air conditioner running and once upon a time i did that i would actually turn the air conditioner off while i was making these and you know 
A, yeah, I would I would be absolutely miserable. Okay, so people are telling me it's eleven ninety eight. Thank you for your eleven ninety eight. It means the world to me. I don't I don't care that it's not as impressive as hundred. <laughs> it looked impressive, so good for you. Uh, no, thank you, thank you guys. Um, anyway, so it gets really hot and miserable in here, which makes my face turn red, which makes me sweat. Um, and it also makes my camera overheat, so it's not just about me. So I, I have to turn the, the AC on. I've just given up on trying to do it without the AC being on. So the problem is you can really hear the difference, especially when it's edited, when I'm like doing, doing the jump cuts in my normal videos. You can hear very loudly, at least I can hear. You know, in one scene it's and in the next scene it's in the background. and. The options there are I could go in and try to remove that sound through some filters, which would sound, I've tried it before, it sounds very mechanical. You get this weird like digital effect in there. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It, it's not a good idea. The other thing is put music down, which I want to do anyway for the reasons that I just said. So that's why I use the music. And um, I'm going to keep doing it for that reason. Now. I've been using the same music for about a year and a half now. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys are getting tired of it. I think I might be getting a little tired of it. It, I, I used a lot of different types of music before I settled on that one. And the reason why I did settle on that one is because, well, there's lots of reasons. It, it loops really easily. So I can very easily, if it gets to the end of the song, I can just knock, you know, back the next track up to it and it just rolls right through. Um, so that's great. The other thing about it is it, it's just kind of, it's got a nice little beat to it. So it adds that little energy that I'm looking for. It also doesn't overpower. Um, it's kind of smooth. It just kind of rides out. It doesn't have a lot of ups and downs. It doesn't like fade to nothing and then get big again. Um, it's not distracting. It doesn't overpower what I'm trying to say. So it's kind of the perfect music track. That's why I kind of stuck with it for so long. And I'm looking for something that can match that or, or at least be another option that I can use. And the track that I picked this last week was actually submitted by a, a viewer a while back. And I used it on, I want to say, the um, one of the giveaway videos I did. Maybe it was the 20K one. Anyway, it was a while back. And, you know, I felt like it was, it was given to me very, very nicely, very appreciated. So I thought maybe that would be a good thing to use. By the way, if any of you guys are musicians and you want to submit something, please do. Uh, you can reach out on the website on the contact form on the website, and um, and I'll look into it. I'm totally I'm 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 on the market for new music, um, but uh, anyway, I, I tried that one out, and I think a lot of people are complaining about the volume. I don't know. I had the volume level the same as the old music, but this one might be compressed a little more, so it might have actually been a little bit louder. Uh, I feel like a lot of it though is just that it was different music, so everybody's like, "What's happening?" Where am I? You know, anytime I do something different, I know I'm going to get some comments about it because, you know, when you when you watch a channel for uh, for a long time, which many of you have, some, some of you guys have been watching for years, still blown away by that, and I couldn't be more appreciative. But uh, whenever you watch a channel for a long time, and I'm right there with you, there's a lot of channels I watch for a long time too. Whenever they change something, whenever they do something different, it's kind of like, what is this? So I get it. I get it. But... Um, I don't know. I might try that, that that piece of music again. It might pop up here and there. I might start switching them out. I might go right back to the music that I had because <laughs> I had a lot of people that were like, no, I love that piece of music. Okay, that's fine. So that's what's going on with the music. I wanted to speak to that because I've had a lot of people, like I said, not just in this video, but in previous videos that would make some some comment or anything. And another reason, I'm sorry, just right off the top of my head. Another reason why I do like to use music is because um, it, it gives me something that can punctuate jokes. I do want my jokes to kind of land and stick and stand out a little bit. And I know people have trouble with the record scratch. <laughs> I get comments on that all the time. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll tone it down on that. Maybe I'll try to find a different sound effect. It always just feels weird to me if I just stop the music. I feel like I need something to kind of be the thing that stops it. Anyway, those are just kind of aesthetic things, like I said. But um, I wanted to speak to it because I was getting a lot of comments about it. So last thing, last thing I want to talk about. I don't know how long I've been going here. 25 minutes? I knew this was going to go a little long. It's all right. Um, so like I said, what happened with the mistake, it's embarrassing. 
I don't want that to happen. Uh, but I do have limited time and resources. That's just that's just the fact of the matter. And and far too often I'm trying to get ahead of things. Um, sorry, I'm gonna stop real quick. JC Randall uh, gonna cost me five dollars. Say that nickel cadmiums are rechargeable. No, really. Uh, I think you were thinking, but there, you must not have caught the beginning. <laughs> you must not have caught the beginning of this video. I talked quite a bit about that. But but thank you, JC. You didn't you didn't have to give me five dollars to to get my attention on that, like a thousand people already have. But I will, I will accept it. Thank you, everybody. Thank JC in the in the live chat. That was that was very nice. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so back back to what I'm saying. Um, I'm very easily distracted by by bright colors in the live chat. Anyway, one one thing I'm trying to do, and I've been trying to do this for a while. I've done it. I've tried it a couple different times, and it just never quite worked out. That's all on me. This is stuff I need to work out myself. Is putting a team together, some kind of team. Of volunteers or part-time assistants or something like that um, I mean I really don't have money to share but one thing that I thought maybe I could start with was getting a team of fact checkers together just people that I could write out my scripts I could send it to them they could go through and just make sure <laughs> that I got all my details down and so uh, so that's where I'm starting and I'm kind of opening this up and like I said, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I don't know what kind of form this will take. I might be able to reimburse in perks of some kind, like Patreon perks or something. I don't know. But I'm opening it up. If anybody out there does want to join my team, of uh, my fact-checking team, people to keep me honest, keep me from embarrassing myself. I need a team of people to keep me from embarrassing myself. How many of you have that problem? Um, Anyway, go to the website, answerswithjoe.com. There's a contact button at the top. You can click on that, and you can send. It'll send me an email directly to me. Um, I think that's the best way to go just because um, it's just sending everybody to one place instead of saying, reach out to me in all these different places. Just go there. Uh, answerswithjoe.com, contact button. Send me an email. Tell me you're interested. I'll put together something. I'll figure out how to make it work, and uh, and we'll go from there. And I, and I appreciate anybody who is interested in and being a part of that and helping out that um, I think that will that will help out quite a bit so I've ranted and I have defended and I have fallen on my sword and I have corrected and I'm drinking coffee and I'm gonna jump into the live chats for just a minute I think I've only got time for a few uh, questions that I can answer because I got some works to do's I, I have work to do that's what I meant to say I have work to do um, let me jump into, give me a second here. All right, hang on a sec. And now the dog's barking. Of course he is. So let's jump into the comments. Pick me as a volunteer, Perdo said. And he says he lives in Texas. Um, sorry, it's really hot down here these days. Um, well, send me the email. Go go to answerswithjoe.com, contact button, shoot me an email. We'll work it out. Um, Jess Stewart says, or I could do my own research. Thanks. Um, what am I drinking? I'm drinking coffee. And uh, what if we troll you with the fact check? Then you won't be on my fact check team much longer. Um, hey, Joe, please do a video on evolution. Have I not talked about evolution? Have I not done a video on evolution before? I'm going to have to go look. Um, Oh, you're silly McLast Namely. Uh, yes, I did get your message and I responded to you. So, I, I, I don't know. I responded to you. Um, the messaging on, on YouTube is weird. It's not optimal. I'm not a fan. But um, if you want to hit me up at that uh, email on the website, contact form, I will get back to you there. But no, I did, I did see your message and I appreciate your reaching out. We can talk. Anyway, yeah. Um, Astrofocus. Uh, I use Sergey. I can't pronounce that. It's music in my videos. His music is fantastic. Okay, cool. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'll check that out. Um, I'll check out your channel too. I'm not familiar with it. Um, Greg Tuntland. Pick me, pick me. Well, there you go. Uh, go to go to the website. Send me an email. Um, oh, this is interesting. Coxon. What's the best thing about being a YouTuber? Hmm. Uh, here's the here's the here's the best takeaway I have had from I'm gonna go on a little talk here let's let's talk 
Um, to me, the, the thing about being a YouTuber that really uh, was surprising and took a little bit of getting used to, the, an idea that took a little bit of getting used to, was that um, there's, a, there's a lot of people in the world, and no matter how unique and special <laughs> and different you think you are, there's millions of people out there just like you. Whatever it is that you're into that you think might be so unique to you, it's not. Millions of people out there uh, share that that sensibility that you have. And I, I had a, it sounds a little self-serving, and I apologize if it comes off like this, but for a while there, I really struggled because, um, not because of negative comments, but because of positive comments. I was getting a lot of really kind of just blowing me away kind of comments, people saying that some video changed their life or that kind of thing. Um, and it became this thing where like suddenly I felt all this pressure on me. It wasn't enough to just make an entertaining video. I had to change somebody's life with the video. And um, and I think my videos suffered from that. I think they started to, they started to suck a little bit. And the thing that I had to kind of get over and deal with and, and come to terms with was the idea that Whatever it is that people are getting from the video, whether it's me, whether it's the information, whether it's just how I say things, whatever, um, they were they were getting it because I was just being me. And I and I I know it's super cliche to just, just be yourself, and and everybody needs that thing that you have. I don't think anybody needs the thing that I have, but I do think that there's enough people out there in the world that whatever it is that I do and whatever it is that I say and whatever perspective I might have. Um, there's a lot of people out there that share it and they want to hear it and it does add something to their lives. Why is not really for me to, it's not really my business. Why? But if I can, if I can do what I do to the best of my ability and give somebody, <laughs> you know, if nothing else, a smile on a Monday morning or something like that. Uh, and if that's what it is that kind of gets them through their week, great, you know. Uh, but that's the thing. That was the, the craziest thing about being a, a YouTuber for me, especially once, you know, I started to get an audience around me and, and people were uh, were responding and giving me that kind of feedback. It, w it wasn't something I was expecting. And it was a weird mental shift I had to make to kind of get over it. <laughs> that kind of thing. Anyway, um let me just do one or two more things. Um, do I play any games or video games? I, I don't play any video games. I, I talked about this in a Patreon video one time. Growing up, my parents never let me have one. And then by the time I was old enough and had enough money to get my own, I just felt like I was so behind everything. So I, I, don't, I really don't play any video games. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I should. I, I feel like I'm missing out a little bit because it's such a big part of popular culture now. Um, let me see. Overdox was asking about a climate change video. I've done one on climate change. Um, last fall, I want to say. I did one on climate change. Um, have you checked back to Isaac Arthur since the collaborations video? Oh, I got news that I can't tell yet. Um, I really can't talk about it yet, but there's some, there's, hold on, there's, there's something. It sucks, because it's not nailed down, but there's, there's something, there's something on the way. Anyway, yes, Isaac Arthur fans are going to be very happy soon. Um, do I have a science degree? No, I don't. I have a radio TV film degree, and I just kind of stumbled into the science thing. It's just, it's just something I enjoy. Um, do I exercise? I've been really good about exercising lately. I'm sure you can tell. Uh, no, I've, I've actually been, I've been trying to lift some heavy weights lately and build some muscle, which means you gotta eat a lot of food, which means the paunch is not getting any smaller. It's kind of getting bigger. Uh, but I'm trying to do the whole like bulk and then cut thing because apparently you can't really do both at the same time. Uh, but yes, I've been exercising. I go to the gym. I lift, I pick things up and put them down. Um, let's see what else we got. Tiago, man, I keep mispronouncing your name. I'm sorry. Tiago or Zura, uh, worst being wrong or being hassled by talking politics. That's worded weird. I'm not quite sure. 
Um, as you know, I, I, I don't talk politics on the channel too much, but I'm trying to not shy away from it too much. Can I say the word too much one more time? Too much. There you go. Um, but, uh, eh, I, I don't... Uh, I talk politics in other places. This isn't really a place for politics. If it, if it intersects with science, though, it's fair game as far as I'm concerned. Um, S. Ravi says he's a recent subscriber and doesn't think I did a video on evolution. I might not have. I might not have really, really dove, de, delvin, doven, divin, dived into it. I might not have. I'll, I'll have to look into that. Uh, all right. What's, let's, let's, uh, we're falling apart now. What else we got? Oh, I forgot it moves the thing too when I do this. So wrong. Um, if you think your mistakes were bad, remember that CGP Grey once got the name of his native country wrong. <laughs> Alright, makes me feel a little better. Um, Alright, well, this is a good this is a good place to wind down, I suppose. So uh, thank you guys for watching. About 115 people watching right now. Uh, Pretty good turnout. I appreciate that, especially in a weekday. Middle of the day on a, on a Wednesday. Not too bad. Thank you for allowing me to uh, to pr prostate before you and uh, beg your forgiveness on my horrible miscalculation in wording. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. So next week I'm actually going on vacation. So there will not be a live stream. But the following week... There are plans to get back into the swing like I did with uh, Tom Mills, who I think is still hanging out in there. Hey, Tom. Um, with the podcast, doing interviews, getting people on there, and then sharing clips from that uh, podcast in the live stream. That's going to be something I'm really going to be working on in the, in the coming months. Um, next week being the exception. Again, I'm not – I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> Got to take a vacation. and um, But I will have – Fingers crossed. I can't cross my finger. I have to like do this. Anyway, ow. So fingers crossed. I will have my uh, Monday videos up like normal. Like I said, I kind of planned them out early. I'm working on them right now, but there will not be a live stream next week. But anyway, wrapping this up, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate all the support you've given. I, I, I should also, sorry, I keep saying I'm going to stop. I should also point out musical intentions uh, is a, a, a viewer. He commented like right in the middle of this I'll use the word shitstorm of the comments that I was getting. Um, he jumped in and said something like I need a hug or that he, he liked the video and he gave me like a, a digital hug or something like that. Um, that, that means a lot. And I wanted to call him out and say, thank you. And I should say thanks to the singularity for $2. Thank you, man. Um, you know, when, when you're going through a whole bunch of just negativity, especially first thing in the morning and you check your comments and it's just like people calling you all kinds of names and stuff. When you see that it, it helps. <laughs> helps a lot. And I want to tell him thank you. I want to th thank you all for your, your positive comments and stuff like that. And I want to thank you again for watching. I'm really signing off now. You guys uh, have a good rest of the week. Have a good weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Love you guys. Take care.